Fresh. What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I, I want to hear your music. Hey, we're all out mutiny, and you're listening to the local band Smoko. Party! Alright, what is up A10? It's your boy BG, back with another uh, reaction for our boys SB19, but this one is actually of Servita making the Gento beat and breakdown, I believe, or just the, the breakdown of the entire track being made uh, in Fruity Loops and how him and Pablo go back and forth and create the track. I absolutely love watching these things. Um, please support and um, consider subbing to Servita's channel as well as SB19s, and uh, please also consider clicking the subscribe button for my channel, that'd be amazing. And here we go. On May 19, 2023, <coughs> I produced a song for a Filipino boy band. The boy band is called SB19, and the song I produced for them is called Gento. And little did I know, over Gento. the next few months, this song would go viral. There have been thousands of videos of people on YouTube reacting to the song, and it also turned into a viral dance challenge on TikTok. Celebrities, dancers, and other artists were all making videos with it. Everybody's pointing at the ground and humping the air like this. And as of right now, the song has 30 million views on YouTube, 25 million streams on Spotify, and over 1.8 million videos on TikTok. So it's today, I'm going to give you guys a breakdown it's on how pretty well apparently beat and the process behind it i got a message from pablo on january 21 2022 he goes hey simon are you busy right now we're making a new ep and we want some beats i say of course what's the timeline he tells me he wants me to work on the main song for the ep which is called gento and then he sends me this little document on how he wants the song to sound gento means like this gold aiming for grimish drillish beats heavy dark sounding dance Yo, i love how i love how pablo is like so in depth of of everything he's looking for before uh Servita even starts creating the beat like it's just look at how in-depth it is incorporate sounds that can be found in a mining site hammers shovels all kinds of stuff like that, that is so cool mining site rocks pickaxes <clears throat> hammers now before i actually started making anything they sent me a demo that they worked on and this is how it sounds <laughs> Oh yeah, it's, it's way different. Ooh, the bass is crazy nasty in this one, in this version. So if you listen to the song, you know it sounds completely different than what the demo is. They said it sounded a little too monotonous, and they wanted it to be a bit more upbeat. So the first thing I thought of was this bass line idea. What I did was extracted the vocals, and then I came up with this bass line. Yeah, that's so much cooler. So that's the main bass line I decided for the song. And then after that, we just added this really simple kick and clap pattern. After that, it already sounds like almost done <laughs> by that part. All right, and then we go into my first drop idea, and this one is pretty bad. So let's just kind of yeah. for a second. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Oh, it's like dirty. It's like yeah, dirty, filthy, like nasty. There is some components that I ended up using. He always mentioned that he wanted that mining site looking for gold soundscape. So there was a bunch of things I put to just kind of emphasize that. Snares like this, where it's kind of metallic sounding. I added this chant of army guys singing like one, two, three, four. Then I made this. Oh, really I don't even think I've ever heard that. That went right over. I don't even think I've ever heard line. that in the background. And then that was the end of the first day. I sent that demo out to Pablo, and then this is what he told me. Thinking more faster and intense vibes. For the drop, he said it was okay. Personally, I didn't love it that much, but if he said it was okay, I'll kind of stick with it. We change it later. So now we go into our second pass, and then this is where stuff really comes together. I had this idea of a melody. Since Gento meant gold, the thing that was just kind of sticking out in my head was money. So I just started incorporating a lot more money ideas. So I added this little cash register ka-ching. 
and that goes in with the beat. And then one of the most <laughs> I love I love all these little teeny things that he that Sarita hides in there, man. He is so damn good at producing. Was I created this vocal sample? So I came up with this melody, and I wanted to make it sound really cool and really robotic. And this is how I did it. So first, I recorded it incredibly slow. I'm gonna turn the effects off. I'm really exposing myself right now. Listen to how just I love seeing the raw the raw deal. Oh, I spent the money, money. Yep, that's awful. So the first thing I did was pitch it up one semitone. And then I stretched it so that it was a lot quicker. We add a bunch of effects, some auto-tune, some compression, more compression, some EQ, some saturation, and then some echo, and then we get a ton this. of VSTs. Then we ran it through some OTT. And then after that, went under the hood into the pitch corrector. So instead of this, we bring the formant down a couple cents. Then we bring that down an octave. That is our main melody for the beat. Let's take a look at the pre-chorus. Oh, so it's un I never even heard that part either. So when the, the bass line is going and it starts, it's saying, oh, the money, money section. So in this kind of genre, you're always really trying to change it up every so often. For this one, instead of going for that dark, fun party vibe for the verse, we are now changing it up and making the pre-chorus a little bit more melodic, a bit more movement. We start off with a pad that has this little filter sweep here. And then we add in a couple extra things to give it a bit more rhythm. We add these plucks. Oh, they're pretty we sounds. Also add in this lead. So we have the same bass as in the verse, and we have the same rhythm, but this time we are doing a new chord progression. So now it's like this. And then we are adding classic build up. We're just doing these eighth note claps with a little couple syncopated ones in between there. Some lifters. Boom, boom. And then we go into our drop. And the hook is actually super similar to the verse. The only thing I do is I add this main melody that we made before. And then let's hear that together. Let's go. So one thing I love when working with these guys is they give me so much so to just experiment and try whatever I want. I don't remember why, but for some reason, this like flute melody just popped in my head. If you remember in the note, he doesn't want any ethnic sounds. He wants like heavy, dark dancing sounds. And I was like, I'm just feeling fluty at the moment. So I structured out the feeling song. Fluty. I put in the dance breaks that we made before. And then, you know, I just kind of sneak this little flute section just right at the end. If he doesn't say anything, okay. But you know, it doesn't hurt. I'll just throw it in here. And this is how the section goes. We start with the flute melody. Oh yeah. Let's add this little that filter. That part's big so that in the song. Sounds a little bit weird. Sexy snaps. And then I added these sexy breaths. And then we also have our I love watching this, this is so cool. Very similar to the pattern in the other bass line, but now it's just a different sound. Right before the verse ends, we do a tape stop, and then we bring it back up right before the snap, and it's just so satisfying for me. You wanna look at the time now? 26 hours. Why did that take me so long? 26 so at this hours. Point, we have the main <clears throat> ideas pretty much there, and now everything is just tweaking and refining, and that's where Pablo really comes in. He's giving me timestamps. At 50 seconds, delay the entry of the chorus. At 1.30, leave some silence for the next rapper to come in. He mentions he likes the flute part, and then there is one more section yeah. <laughs> at the end that he wanted me to touch up on. So now it's just a lot of tweaking. So this time, the intro is a little bit longer. I'm adding in these anvil noises, adding these cinematic fills. 
the second verse now we do this complete breakdown section where we remove all the instruments and we just have these like cool cinematic drums going in i really like how servita goes about explaining breaking down each section too he's like really really good at showing all this and i searched and i couldn't find a crimson breakdown like this but if there was one i would 100 percent watch arms it. come back in We're now at the fourth and final pass. Pablo actually sends me his vocals over, so I really have an understanding of where things are going. So this is him doing Ken's part. No rush, I can do this all day. 24 mentality to the cold bay. The harder I work, the harder I play. When I'm home, court, suck and suck and fuck, I do it. Excuse me. Excuse me. So they wanted to make one more section where it's just a chanting kind of a breakdown but super high energy where they just kind of repeat. Kento, kento, dito basta, basta, bingo. So I just added as many metals and percussions and just random sounds that I can find and I just created this drum loop here. It does have all like the mining back the sounds and clanks and, and clicks and stuff. And then let's take a look at the last drop. I texted Pablo almost a year after. I'm still trying to figure out a melody for the first breakdown. I really wasn't happy with that original one. And this is what I ended up doing. I found this sound in Serum that's just this screechy thing. Weird chromatic descending top line. I turned the portamento up so that it's all slidey and pitchy. And this is how it sounds. Yep. Made it I a know that's choppy. Time. Big fat 808 at the bottom. The drum sounds are really, really simple. It's just the sound of it is just a little different from what we usually had. Cool effects for my drum kit. Oh, that just Ooh, sounds so crazy. nasty. We still had the army chants in here. And that is 33 hours later. Not bad, but this is the final beat. Look at all of that. Not too That's a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you guys want to listen to the full song and see the music video, I'm going to have that in the description below. I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been listening to the song and supporting it. I'm really grateful to be a part of something like this. Honestly, it's surreal because I'm just, I just feel like I'm making beats in this room. Just a little of this, so little boop, 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 boop. And now there's like celebrities that I've <laughs> known for years and then they're like dancing to my music and it's just like, whoa. They actually came to Toronto a few months ago and I was able to go to the show and the energy was crazy and everybody was screaming and I just never thought my music would be scream worthy like that once again thank you guys so much i'm really happy this to be a awesome. part of this <clears throat> also be on the lookout because i'm dropping a new course very soon it's a music production course where i talk about my entire process all the way from making a beat to distributing it on streaming platforms if you guys are interested in music production and what i do then i think this course is yeah. gonna be really good for you i'm gonna have a lot more information very soon so keep an eye on that if you have any suggestions leave a comment if you like this video leave a like if you really like this video subscribe if you didn't like this video leave just leave give me a hell yeah Get out of here. Servita breaking down how he made Gento by SB19. And I just love watching these videos, man. I wish I wish there was one for like every single song on the Pack the Tag EP, like broken down like this, especially Krim Zone. But clearly this is a 10 out of 10. I could watch these all day. I love seeing his process, hearing things in the beats and sounds that I didn't even know was there, especially that the money chant. That was super cool. So 10 out of 10. Uh, please support him, uh, his channel, as well as SB19 kindly consider clicking the subscribe button for my channel. That'd be amazing. Patreon.com slash local band BG. If you'd like this show to grow and expand faster um, and further, uh, if you need uh, uh, merch for your shows here in the States, go to uh, mymerchguy.com. Use code LBS420 for a nice discount. And if you ever need MIDI drum tracks that you could put into Fruity Loops, just like Servita, go to drummidi.com. Pretty much like any genres over there. Just make sure you use code LBS420 and it's all in caps at checkout. So you get that 20% off. Uh, other than that, though, guys, I am your host, BG, saying cheers. Keep blazing in peace. I'll see you next time.